The entrepreneur's framework is 10 years in the making. He really made it real and practical and relatable and empathetic and, and honestly enjoyable. But reading through it, what I really liked was that in addition to really building out framework, there was inclusion of so many stories of how Josh failed and succeeded. I think the framework is something that uh, every first or second time entrepreneur should pay a lot of attention to. I want it to be a book that can help you on your journey, to act as the role model, the guidance that I wish I had when I started when I was 16 years old. And that's why when I wrote this book, I knew from the very beginning that I didn't want to make a single dollar off of it. I, I think it's really special that uh, Joshua has decided to give all the proceeds of this book to Big Brother Big Sisters Independence. Someone like you has been an entrepreneur since you've been a kid. You're 13 years old, you sold a website to Great Adventure, and now you have a lifetime pass to go there for free. Uh, when you were 16, you started Chop Dog. The entrepreneur's framework is not just a guidebook. It's a set of principles on what it means to be a successful entrepreneur, about what your North Star is. This book will allow you to, to define what is your true north? What, is, what are the metrics where you want to focus in? Self-awareness is the cornerstone to entrepreneurship. I thought it was a good matrix for a young person to really guide themselves in uh, self-awareness and self-development. Uh, it's so important to continue to invest in yourself as you grow uh, through the journey of being an entrepreneur. I think the most surprising one to me was empathy. It's not something people really associate with entrepreneurship, so it's really interesting to see it there and to really relate back to the customers. Do you want to know the secret about leaders? Leaders create leaders. I think it's, quite frankly, one of the most important characteristics of a great leader's empathy. Uh, so that per part of the book I really enjoyed. So many entrepreneurs aren't factoring economics into their day-to-day -day business. When I started Chop Dog in 2009, it was in the height of recession. Understanding timing, you know, timing is a huge factor in economics. Operations is the heartbeat of your company. So many entrepreneurs just go through the motions of their day-to-day -day operations. I look at a lot of companies. I might see 12 companies with the same idea. The difference between those that are successful and those that aren't is execution. I don't think it's about finding your passions or following your passions, but I believe they lead you to something even bigger. Deep down, my purpose is all of us as entrepreneurs have to have this is we're servant oriented. So often entrepreneurs get boggled down either focusing too much on the long term or too occupied in the short term. I thought the emphasis on short term versus long term thinking was particularly relevant. The framework to me, I looked at it kind of like a spider web. The spider web can get bigger or smaller. And as your spider web kind of grows, can catch more things and become a more full entrepreneur, a full person. See, the entrepreneur framework is says it's mostly about an entrepreneur, but I disagree. I think it's about a human being and being the best person you can actually be. That visual dynamic of the spider chart lets us measure what we're good at and maybe what we're lacking at. So it's a great companion for any, any entrepreneur budding or experienced. If the entrepreneur's framework gives you any value whatsoever, it would mean the absolute world to me and everyone that was a part of this if you can leave a review online, if you can share about it on social media, if you can take a photo of yourself with the book and use the hashtag the entrepreneur's framework. We want to see the type of impact this book can make. I want to see how many people's lives we can impact and give value to. So anything that you can do would be beyond appreciative.